David and I'm with Ashton Blakey Vintage Watches. Today, we're going to go over the key differences between the three most common types of wristwatches. Manual wind, automatic, and quartz. There's no doubt many of you have heard these terms before, and there seems to be still some confusion about what the key differences are between these watches. So let's get started today, and let's go through the key differences between them. So let's get started in chronological order and begin with the earliest type of watch movement, which is the manual wind. A manual wind watch is a mechanical watch that uses a non-electric mechanism to measure time. It's driven by a spring, which has to be wound periodically, and that's what releases the energy into the clock's wheel as it unwinds. Now you could see the balance wheel going back and forth there at a constant rate, and that's what makes the ticking noise when it's operating. Mechanical watches evolved in Europe in the late 1600s from spring-powered clocks. In order to wind a manual watch, you simply turn the crown until you feel some tension. And don't go too much, otherwise you'll sprain the, the uh, spring. And that'll probably keep going for about a day or so before you have to wind that watch again. And of course, it's called a manual wind because you manually have to wind it with the crown. Now let's take a look at an automatic watch, or sometimes they're referred to as self-winding watches. Now an automatic watch contains a semicircular weighted rotor that turns on a pivot, which you can see right there. As you move the watch, you'll see that rotor swing. And the normal movements of your arm and wrist cause the rotor to pivot back and forth and automatically wind the watch. Now, the rotors are attached to a winding mechanism, which you can see closely right there. So the motion of your arm causes the motion of the rotor, which in turn, through a series of these gears here, winds that main spring. And if you can see, there's a couple gears there that every time the rotor moves, those gears are moving, as you could see there, those two little gears. And that's what's winding the mainspring. So this watch doesn't need to be wound manually through the crown. However, uh, if the watch hasn't been running for a while, you may have to pick it up and just get it going with a few winds on the crown. But typically, you can pick up a, uh, an automatic watch and just start wearing it, and just within a few minutes uh, from the natural movement of your wrist, the watch is going to be wound. This here is a, an Omega Seamaster automatic that uses that same principle. Uh, this is an automatic watch. And typically, most high-end watches today will be automatic movements. Finally, let's get to quartz watches. Now, a quartz watch uses an electronic oscillator regulated by a quartz crystal. Quartz watches also use a battery for current, which you can see right there. Uh, since the 1970s, quartz watches have been uh, the most widely used in timekeeping technology. Even while quartz watches keep the most accurate time, though, um, they're not nearly as collectible as either manual wind or automatic movements, which use the highly complex movements, many of which are painstakingly put together by hand. Thanks for watching this exclusive Ashton Blakey Vintage Watches YouTube video. Stay tuned for more videos just like this. Thanks for visiting. Hey, thanks again for watching. We've got many more interesting watch videos to come, so make sure to click on the subscribe link and you'll be the first to know. You can also like us on Facebook. Check out the link below.